Hello everybody, I am Dr. Srimati from Rangadare Hospital, Bangalore. I am going to be speaking about oxytocin and its role in induction and augmentation of labor. Oxytocin is a natural hormone which is secreted from the posterior pituitary gland. It plays an important role in increasing the frequency and amplitude of uterine contractions and hence in facilitating delivery of the baby and the placenta. Oxytocin as a sole induction agent is not very commonly used because of better cervical ripening agents such as PGE1 and PGE2. However, oxytocin is very commonly used in augmentation of labor in order to correct slow progress. Careful selection of cases and consideration to other causes for slow progress is very very important before we start oxytocin. Examination of patients, including a vaginal examination, looking for signs of disproportion, signs of obstruction is very important, especially in women who have had a previous cesarean section or in multiparic women because of the risk of uterine rupture with the use of oxytocin. Oxytocin is given as a slow intravenous infusion. It is preferably given via a syringe pump or an infusion pump purely because we can titrate the dose of oxytocin and avoid problems. We titrate the dose so that we can have 4 to 5 contractions in 10 minutes. Because the half life of oxytocin is only 3 to 4 minutes, titration is very easy. It is also important to monitor the maternal and the fetal well-being when the woman is on oxytocin as uh, problems in fetal heart rate can happen if especially the woman is hyperstimulated. Long duration of usage of oxytocin can result in maternal hyponatremia and neonatal hyperbilirubinemia and we need to be aware of this. In short, oxytocin is a very common drug which is used in obstetrics. It is important that we carefully select our women and monitor them when oxytocin is being used in order to have good maternal and fetal outcomes. Thank you.